You know, I got my tank on the wall. I got, you know, my guide on. Take one look inside James Gibson's office. It's obvious who he's here to serve. So I provide mental health counseling to post 9-11 veterans and their families. James is a counselor at the Stephen A. Cohen Military Family Clinic in Lakewood. It offers counseling to veterans, active military members, and their families with little to no barriers. If you have children and you need child care, we'll provide it for free. If you need a ride here and you don't have a vehicle and you live within 35 miles, Miles, then we're going to pay for an Uber and have you Ubered here and back. Gibson has been at the clinic since it opened in February. What's also clear is his passion for what he does. I don't work. I, I get to come here and I get to share knowledge and I get to help guys and gals overcome whatever they're coming to overcome, you know, need to overcome. His passion to serve military clients. Me and my driver getting ready to roll on a mission. Comes from knowing firsthand what they've seen. This was in Kuwait. And this was a couple days before we headed in Iraq. We we're all still just all excited and happy and didn't realize what we were getting into. And what they're going through. I came back a different person and everybody could see it but me. I really believed it was the rest of the world's problem and not mine. For 21 years, James served in the Army. After multiple deployments, he brought back with him pain from different traumas. Reluctant at first to seek help, it wasn't until he saw a counselor who also was a retired vet that it clicked. And I asked him even, why, why, there's, why isn't there more people like you doing this? Because I, can, I, I do connect with you. We joke that he's our chief motivator in charge. He always has an upbeat attitude. Um, he's passionate about what we do. Clinic director Nicole Ayers, a military spouse herself, says most of her staff have a military connection, which makes the work they do even more significant. Working in the mental health field and as a mental health professional and as a military spouse, it's really the dream to be able to provide services the way that we're able to provide them here. Everything I'm teaching are things that I've implemented in my life that I use on a daily basis. And, and am I perfect now? No, heck no. Ask my wife, ha ha, no, I'm not perfect, but I'm getting better. And, and just utilizing these skills is, and, and getting better every day is, is all you can ask for. Better is a goal James is working towards. And through his continued career of service, working on showing others that it's always possible. Purpose is shoved down your throat in the military. You never have to second guess what your purpose is in the military. That's difficult to find in the civilian sector. I can help you find that purpose. Is this your purpose? This is my purpose. Oh yeah, this is definitely my purpose. But I'm not done yet. We got bigger plans. This is, this is a stepping stone towards a purpose. But yeah, definitely. In Lakewood, Vanessa Mishanya, King 5 News.